Hi, welcome to the speaking test. Uh, can you tell me your full name, please? Hello, nice to meet you. Now, in this first part, I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself. Let's talk about your hometown or village. Uh, what kind of place is your hometown or village? Oh, well, I, I was born in a small city in the north of Vietnam called Nam Dinh. Uh, it is, which is about uh, 19 kilometers from the capital. And this city is uh, 750 year, 50 years old, uh, and it is often called the textile city. Now, I'm going to give you a topic, and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you'll have one minute to think about what you're going to say, and you can make some notes if you wish. And here's your topic. I'd like you to describe a public speaker that you really admire. Well, I would like to uh, describe Mr. Barack Obama, which is the president of the U.S. Day from 2008 to 2016, as a public speaker that I really admire. Although he was not trained as a professional speaker, he, w he is considered as one of the most, uh, one of the greatest speakers of all time. It was so impressive for, for our president. I, I mean, I know that um, politicians always try to influence people with their speeches, but in fact, um, of just a few of them are memorable to people. But Mr. Obama did it so well. Let me give you an example. Uh, last summer, he came to Vietnam and he gave a speech to thousands of students and businessmen in the National Convention Center. And in just 30 minutes, he gave a vivid impression on Vietnamese people's mind. Because as well as he showed the, he expressed the hope that the relationship between two countries will be developed in the future. He also showed that he was very knowledgeable of Vietnamese culture and history. I mean, it's very, I think it's very important for public speaker to know who, who is his audience is. And her, his speaking style is also very remarkable. He know how to put short pauses to attract attention. He uses gen hand gestures so often to be more natural. And he often uses impressive metaphors and repetition to emphasize his messages. Thank you. Now, in this next part, I'm going to ask you some questions uh, related to uh, public speaking. Uh, first of all, let's consider the skill of speaking. Do you think public speaking is one of the most important skills that teachers should develop in young learners? Sure. Along with uh, reading and writing and math skills that that are often taught in traditional school. I think public speaking is also really important. Uh, well, Vietnamese students uh, are often told to be well-behaved and obedient, and they are often nervous and scared to speak out loud their opinions. Uh, so I think there are maybe class, must be classes where teachers encourage students to uh, express th their opinion. Thank you very much. That's the end of the speaking test. <laughs> Whoa! How was your test? I was so nervous. I, I wasn't perfect. Yeah. But I, I try my best. Mm, you try your best. That is the best thing. <laughs> best thing of the yeah. test. Now let's check it out. What the examiner would talk about your speaking test in yeah. the evaluation part. How do you think she did? Well, one of the things that I'm really impressed with with most of the people who've come on this show is the fact that their pronunciation is really clear. So great pronunciation, very clearly, clearly spoken. I did notice uh, a few mistakes in terms of uh, her collocations or the, the word order that she was using. Uh, for example, she said that Nam Ding is considered as one of the most worth living cities. Mm. Um, so there's a problem with the word order there. Mm -hmm. I think maybe we need to change the words uh, to the most livable cities. Mm -hmm. Uh, she also said that the living pace 
not too fast. Mm. I think we need to add some words there, like uh, uh, in general, the pace of life in Nam Namding is a, a little bit more leisurely than in other urban areas. Um, so uh, generally, I thought there were some word order problems um, throughout her speech. Again, I think it's great with any student who's got problems with grammar to write it down to see how the grammar should look on the page and to be particularly aware of the, the word order uh, problems when you're speaking. And I really want to say thank you, thank you so much, our lovely girls from Lehampong High School for your confidence, for your brightness, for your hospitality. It's such an honor for me to meet all of you here. Definitely next time I will see you again.